Hey guys, I want to give you a really cool technique. It's deceptively simple as I like it, but there's a lot of power within this. And in order to do it, you're going to need some dice. So I'm going to take you over to my screen and we'll go through it. I'll do this digitally because I don't have all the, com the cameras set up to show you otherwise as I'm rolling dice. So I call this insight dice. It's not the fanciest name, but it works and that's what it is. That's exactly what it says on the tin. So Insight Dice is a unique tool designed to help individuals develop mental flexibility and cultivate new ways of thinking. By rolling two six-sided dice with questions and mental frames based off Robert Dilt's logical levels, Insight Dice prompts users like yourself to examine problems and questions from multiple perspectives. The resulting new ideas and insights help individuals to better understand themselves, solve problems more creatively, and achieve their goals. And I think that's awesome, and that's why we're here, right? So this is how to use it. We're going to, you need to come in with a problem or a goal, some sort of desire, a topic you want to explore, and you're going to write it down. And I'll go through this process as well while I'm actually doing it so that you can see it in real time. And you're going to roll two six-sided dice. One is going to represent the questions and the other is going to represent the mental frames or the positions. And then next you're going to use the questions and mental frames together to generate new ways of thinking about your problem or the question or the desire, whatever it is. And then you're going to reflect on the new ideas and you're going to continue to do that until it shakes things loose. And the reason why this is important is because we have problems and we focus on them. We attach our mindset to whatever they, the focus is and we get stuck with that. And we have this thought. It's something we've already thought about before. We've done thinking in the past and then it becomes a thought. And we carry that thought into the next situation and say, this is how it is, because I've already thought about it. And the problem is, if you've already thought about it, and you're not thinking as a process, then you're going to get stuck, you're not going to let new information in, and the problem is going to persist. Thinking is what is important. And these dice really help you do that, because they're giving you different strange combinations of how to think, and that challenges your previous thoughts. So again, you repeat this over time until you break free of that loop or the stuckness, and then you take some action on it. You always got to take action on it. And sometimes it just happens naturally because you've thought about things differently. The metaphor has changed and things work out better. I do suggest that you take action, though. Take more action. We all need to take more action. So on the left, you have questions and on the right positions. So the questions are the standard who, what, where, when, why, and how. On the right, the positions are meta position. So looking above at the whole situation, what is this a representation of? And that's a bit of a tricky one. And that's probably where you get a lot of benefit in terms of questions. But they all do work. Number two, identity, the logical levels which I'll explain in another video because it needs a whole video, it has different categories. Okay, and your identity as a person, the labels that you've attached to yourself or that you believe about yourself. Then the beliefs, what do you believe about yourself or the situation? Then capabilities and skills, the things that you've learned to do. Then actions, the things that you are doing and the environment, the people the place, the situation around you. So let's say that I'm coming in with a problem. Okay, this is a remedial problem. This is a problem that I have, not some generative thing I want to be better at, but a problem. I'll use, I worry too much about being a good father because it's true. The other ones are true too, but this is a recently highlighted one for my life. So I'm going to roll two dice on the side. I just have this dice. Okay, three and, okay, 
Three is where. And four, capabilities. So I need to fuse those together and make a question to ask myself. And you can use this with other people too. This is an extremely powerful coaching method. Although it sounds simple and it kind of sounds a bit ridiculous that you're just asking questions, it works. Trust me. So what did I say? Where and capabilities. Where am I not employing my skills that I've developed as a coach with my daughter? I think I could possibly teach her more detailed or in-depth ways of thinking about people. We've done a little bit of parts work, but it hasn't been too explicit. She's five years old. I think, I think maybe I could do parts work better. And that would make me feel that she is more confident and secure and able to understand what's going on internally. So that would help me not worry about it as much. Maybe. And then you just keep going through it. Okay, maybe roll another one. Let's see. Four and two. When identity. When did I take on the identity that I'm not a good father? I haven't. I haven't. I believe I am. So maybe there's no problem. Okay, that moment right there was an unconscious moment. That's a moment of what? Like, and then laughing about it is a release of the internal tension that you have built up from the problem. And I find, I feel like kind of clear eyed right now. Like, things, like I'm seeing things differently. I definitely believe I'm a good father. So why would I worry about not being one? I feel good right now. That's, that was a breakthrough, a moment of an insight that wouldn't have happened if I just kept thinking about the problem in the same way. I'm doing another one just so you, that you can see it a little bit more generative. Maybe how can I manage my time better? Okay, I don't really have too much limiting beliefs and negative self-talk. So <laughs> we just talked about this one. But I wanted to get one that was a little bit more something that everybody could relate to. Two and six. Two. What environment? What in my environment is causing me to not manage my time well. I have a lot of family obligations and things to pay attention to. There's a bit of clutter as a perceiver. <laughs> it happens. Okay, or maybe what in my environment could help me manage my time better. There's a natural rhythm of my family waking up and getting ready for school and things like that. So maybe if I managed, if I set like blocks of time before, which I do, I wake up at 6.30 and then, or before that, and then when my daughter wakes up, I switch off, play with her, get her ready, refresh myself, and then come back to work. So balancing it around the natural cycle might be better than trying to fight it. What in my environment is a distraction? I recently reinstalled League of Legends on my phone. That's a distraction. Oops. I think I just did this. Okay, six and three. How? Beliefs. How are my beliefs around time management going to change when I start setting a more strict schedule? That's a weird question. And that's good. You want questions where you're like, oh, I've never thought of that before. Because then you're thinking and you're changing things. I don't even remember what I said. How are my beliefs going to change when I change my relationship to time management? Well, if I really clench down on it and focus on time management, I'm going to realize more and more, because I have realized more and more, that it is extremely important in creating the life that I want to live. And if I don't manage myself and my time better, than somebody else's, then I'm going to let it slip away and I'm not going to be as productive and I'm not going to make as big of an impact on the world. So I need to really set a firm schedule and stick to it as best as I can. So that is the insight dice tool that I want to give you. 
try it out. It's a lot of fun. It gets you thinking differently. And that's, again, what we need in order to solve our problems. And you can do this without dice, too. You can just pick random words, why, and actions. Why are you doing this? That's kind of a simple one. Why and meta. Why is this whole thing an issue for you or for me? Why is this something that we're talking about right now? We just went to a huge, very high meta level perspective looking at the whole thing. It is an extremely powerful tool. Employ it, try it. Let me know how it goes. Peace.